happy Sunday. Welcome into the chat. Let me see if I can get it to pop up here. Thank you so very much for joining. Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I have um, a little bit of everything, I think, tonight. Um, I've got some Dooney. I've got some Nordstrom. I've got some Kate Spade. And yeah, I think that uh, pulls it all together. So if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for joining. I do appreciate you spending part of your Sunday evening with me. If you enjoy the live, I hope that you will stick around, watch a few more videos, and consider subscribing. If you are one of my returning tribe sisters, thank you so very much for your continued support. I have uh, been a little busy over the last week, and we will start with an item that I picked up from... Nordstrom Rack. I actually ordered it, I think, on Monday night last week, and it got here on Thursday. So it was a pretty quick turnaround. And it is this card case. I don't know what it was um, about the simplicity of it, but the red with the gold logo here, it is the brand Thacker, T H A C K E R. And it was on sale for like 20 something or maybe $30. It will hold a few cards. And then, of course, it has a place for your ID. Pretty simple. I thought about this for my smaller bags. And, you know, for me, red is a neutral. So it doesn't matter what color the bag is. I can make this work. So this is going to be... A card case for a smaller bag. I'll let you get a look at that leather just a little closer. And the logo here. It almost looks like a centipede or a caterpillar. And then it kind of looks like a leaf. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but... Looking at this stitch right here that looks like it's not super tight. It's not as smooth as the others. Oh, let's see here. Is that the only one? It looks like it's the only one. Let me check the front. Yeah. I'll um I'll decide if I'm going to let that slide or not because I did purchase a clothing item as well from Nordstrom Rack and it came in and it is awful. The fabric is awful. The cut is awful. The it, It's just not good. So I've got to go back uh, in order to return that. So I'll see if this little stitch situation bothers me enough to take it back since I have to go back in store. All right, so that's it for uh, that one. Um, I do have a shoe haul coming, and that's actually uh, the reason that I went into Kate Spade. I actually ordered it last weekend from their surprise site, and I ordered two pair of Fez sneakers. I ordered uh, the color black white and I also picked up sangria red and white and based on me ordering from Tory Burch in the past I felt like I needed to size up I'd never purchased shoes from Kate Spade I sized up and oh was I wrong not only did I size down which took me into store uh, to try to get those exchanged but I probably could have even gone to like a nine and a half so note if you are purchasing from Kate Spade and you're ordering shoes at a minimum order your normal size if unsure or if you have like a narrow foot, a narrow heel, 
um, then you may even want to size down. So I went in, they had one of the two pair in the size that I needed. I swapped those and then the other pair they were able to order for me. But there was a difference in the price of the shoes online versus in store. So with the difference, I actually picked up these little tiny star um, Kate Spade studded earrings. So I picked those up. And there's something with me and stars, circles, and hearts. Because when my sister and I first got our ears pierced, one of us had stars, the other one had heart, gold solid studded earrings. And then when we went back and got our second, um, one of us got the opposite and then the other one got a stud. So it's just something about little small dainty stars hearts and little circles um flat back round top studs that just get me every time so when i saw these i decided to pick these up and because it was like less than 20 bucks um that they refunded onto a gift card and um while i have made a few purchases from kate spade the idea of holding on to a credit that amount just was going to just not sit well with me. So I just spent it while I was there. But when I ordered the shoes, I ordered the actual black spades. I wanted red as well. I don't know if they make them in red, but they were not in stock. But I'll put these in my second holes um, whenever I'm wearing the Fez sneakers. So I really just like those. And y'all know I have a thing for Kate Spade, you know, my forever love story. So I love those. So the two pair of earrings. Um, I will do the shoes in a shoe haul, in a Loving My Soul haul. Um, but what, um, so where was I the last time... Where did I travel? It's all starting to run together. Anyway, wherever I traveled two weeks. Oh, no, I don't know. Wherever I was like three weeks ago, because two weeks ago I was in Arizona. So wherever I was the week before that, um, I was looking for accessories to go with pale blue Hattie. And I went in Cape Spade and actually saw this little wallet. And I didn't get it because I was trying to kill some time. My bag was already like 51 pounds and I didn't want to have to battle with the airline. Um, and I already had my two carry-ons. So I left it there and I continued to think about it. And I have not been able to find any duty Florentine accessories on ILD or Dooney.com. So in the absence of that and a promotional price, I decided to pick this one up from Kate Spade in the color Dewey Blue. I have not paired it um, to see, and it's looking more baby blue on camera, and it's more, it looks more pale blue in person. Um, but I haven't pulled out Hattie yet to make sure that she's going to match. But even if she doesn't, this is this is going to be the wallet. So the whip stitching or the baseball stitch as some brands call it. I really like the look of that. The zipper top. So if I wanted to throw um, cash or coins or, you know, I could even put my car key there it would be a little bulky but I could make that work if I just absolutely had to snap closure and then it has one two three so a total of six uh, well I guess you'll say five card slots and then it has an ID window and these are wide enough that they can you can stack a couple of different cards in there if you needed more than the allotment and then there's a lined pocket here and a pocket slip pocket back here so receipts 
additional cards, cash, there's a place for it all. So I did pick that up. And again, it's in the color Dewy. Let me make sure I'm saying that. Is that right? I don't have my glasses. Yeah, Dewy Blue. Yep. I'm so proud I could see that little writing. Okay, so Nordstrom Rack, Kate Spade, Surprise Sight. And then the other thing that got me, and I mentioned this last week on live, and it's here, is they, they being Kate Spade um, Outlet, has an Aristocat collection going on right now. I'm not a big Aristocat or Aristocrat. I think it's Aristocat. Um, Disney uh, fan, but... When I walked in store and I saw this item, I thought it's going to be perfect because it will go with Kelly Green or grass. It's going to go with reds, yellows, and even to make my rare black bag pop, I was like, it, I, I got to have it. I got to have it. So, let me... under the bottom is that not the cutest <laughs> and it actually has rays 3d can you see them from the side piano keys now what I've probably not shared on my channel before that I share with you now is I actually took piano lessons growing up. Not only piano lessons, but I took organ lessons and played on Sundays for my church. So I don't, I don't play. It's kind of like, you know, a language skill. If you don't use it, you will lose it. But I thought this was super cute and it speaks to my love of music and what I considered at that point to be a talent. I absolutely love this. I love it. Now, what I didn't like about the interior is that it is black. But um, I think I'm going to be able to make it work. Because, <laughs> let me tell you about this inside. Even though it's black. It has um, a semi setup like a Carrington. And you know how I love a Carrington, right? So it's black, but you see it has a slip pocket on this back wall. And then it has six, let me see if I can get a good angle. One, two, three, and then the same on that side, six card slots. And it has a wristlet strap that is detachable. Let me see if I can get this out of here. I just, it, I don't know that um, other than Florentine that I would spend as much as I did for this one because it was not on a great sale price. It wasn't. But I am one of those people, y'all should know by now, that... Price, a good price is subjective. It depends on the value you place on an item. It depends on how badly you want it in your collection because one sale price may be a great sale price for me and you may say no or you may be looking at it and saying that's a great price and I look at it and say, mm, I think I'm going to wait. This was not one that I decided to wait on. Do you see those black lacquered 3D raised keys there. Oh my goodness. And it can serve as a little evening clutch without the wristlet strap or if you want the wristlet strap. And it has the Kate Spade 
branding in the hardware, nothing on the back, but you know, I, I, I don't do well with black, but I always say that if you're going to do a black, it needs to be something that is going to stand out and speak for itself. It can't just be a matte, black, boring, plain. You got to do something to give it some life. And I felt like this was iconic. Nobody does novelty pieces, in my opinion, like Kate Spade. She knocks it out of the park. And I will tell you, Shani Cole almost influenced me because of all of the reds with the watermelon collection. But when I walked in store and I saw this, I felt like for me, even with a red bag, that this would be more of a year-round piece for my preference than the watermelon pieces. They would be great seasonal. And I'm not saying that, you know, if they get reduced a little bit more that I'm not going to pick one or two of those pieces up. But this one, I had to have it. Now, my sister is coming back by here. I got to hide it. <laughs> if you know, you know. So I've got my blue. Even with the blue, I love that as a pop. And there it goes with the red. I just love it. And let me size-wise compare it for you to a Carrington for those that are trying to figure out the size or maybe looking on page. And it's the surprise site, the outlet site. So this is it. Kate Spade was also having a promo this weekend. They launched their fall. I promise you there's Dooney coming. Don't, don't go away. Um, but they were doing a fall promo event. I got invited to the event. I ended up not going. Um, but they were doing the launch of their 2023 fall collection. And they, were, um, they had a 15% off promo of the regular price for first launch. And then they were also doing an additional 15% off in store off of already marked down prices. And they did have some cute stuff in store yesterday when I was there. But again, I went in yesterday on a mission because I was on a time constraint. And then um, got a little distracted because Kate Spade. Then there was the cosmetic company store. Then there was Coach. Then there was... Uh, Sketchers, Michael Kors. There were just a bunch of different stores and I I needed to stay focused. So I went in, got the, you know, exchange and the order of the shoes done, got the earrings because of the credit, and then made my way back in awful weather yesterday afternoon. All right. So that is it from my Kate Spade adventures but it's not over all right so speaking of your price may not be my price my Florentine double zip wristlet that I could not wait to pull the trigger on is here and I have been waiting on y'all to get here so that we could open it together. All right. So I am planning to get the natural. Um, they also have a black over on duty.com and they have a navy. And I feel like I need both of those colors. I think they also have it in a chestnut. I don't know that I need the chestnut. But the black the navy do i need black and navy maybe just the navy because y'all know that the navy is going to read black to me so maybe um the natural and the navy but i know that everyone else is probably waiting for a different price and i get it i get it i have done it but i wanted it and i didn't want no offense i didn't want anybody's return so i decided i would order early so here she is and i probably should have ordered a second one because i'm going to wear this out 
I feel like this red Florentine double zip wristlet is about to catch the same case that my large Florentine red Russell. Y'all, I recently cleaned that up and she looks a whole lot better. She's not brand new because I've had her for years and she has traveled, but she's ready to go again and she's gonna get to go this week. Um, but I feel like when I bought that one, I probably should have bought a second red one. And I feel like that with this because I can move in red and I can stay in red and it doesn't matter what color bag I'm in. So I feel like once I move into this and I'm getting ready to move in, I'm going to wear this out. The Kate Spade wallet. Let's see. Fits. The Nordstrom Rack card case. Oh, that, that just nestled right down in there. Not that you need a card case because just like a Carrington, it has built-in organization in the interior. Look at all that gorgeous red. So it also has six card slots. It doesn't have the slip behind it, but it does have six card slots. It's got plenty of open space for like Y'all, this is where I have, like, my two checkbooks, the stamps, because I still have stuff, cards, that kind of thing that I'm mailing off. Um, this is where receipts, I'll throw cash in here. Um, typically, um, I try to keep, like, coins if I've got them. You know, if somebody gives me back change, I may drop them here just so it's a little easier for me to find them when I'm looking for it. But then it also, I also have this um zipper pocket and if this is the only thing then this is where i'm dropping my keys my readers will also fit in here not necessarily with the hard case but if i'm just you know trying to get everything together it will fit there it's not going anywhere so here is the tassel that green suede peeping peeking through on both of the zipper pulls and then it also has the wristlet strap i love this okay and i don't see any discoloration from the little um, little acid paper or whatever it's called. Um, so this is, this is good. This is good. Wish her, uh, uh, a safe journey. Somebody go ahead and, uh, send her a contract that allows her for like at least two weeks paid vacation because she will not look the same the next time you see her. Poor thing. I'm sure the large Russell has been whispering since it arrived. Run! Run while you can! <laughs> Not going anywhere. Alright, so how does the double zip wristlet compare to... What is this from Kate Spade? What is this one called? Um... Uh, I don't see the name on here. It has the color listed as black multi. Oh, I guess it's calling pitch perfect because of the piano keys. So maybe it doesn't have an actual style name. Hmm. But it's pitch perfect. And pitch perfect it is. All right, so let's do a size comparison. All right. Yeah, let's do it this way. Yeah. Because 
Junie is larger. Oh, I love that. The Dooney, of course, is a little thicker, but they both have wristlet straps. The Dooney one is not detachable. The Pitch Perfect from Kate Spade is. Both have six card slots. Dooney has the zipper pocket on the opposite wall. And Pitch Perfect actually has a slip. There's gussets on the side just a smidgen here this one does not but it's going to hold everything plus you have the outside zipper pocket so you definitely get a little bit more function oh, this is so stinking cute functional favorite color best leather going to wear it out but this is also pretty special and they were about the same price because this is right now $126. And I think this one I paid $119. That was the sale price. Because it was it's listed as $199. But then of course, you know, they had a promo in store and it came down. I think it was $119. $119, $126. Affiliate link down below. I know most of you are probably waiting for either other colors or for the price to come down. Uh it was worth it to me. All right. So, what else do we have? What else do we have? What else? Okay. This is not available on the site. But, when I placed the order, this is um, Alto. When I placed the order for the Florentine, it made me think, about this alto piece that I purchased that hadn't seen the light of day yet and I wanted to be able to compare the two the color all right so for those that have not seen or have forgotten this is Junie's alto leather and this bag is called Ella and I got this on an amazing promo price I'm gonna call it a glitch because it never went back to that price after the glitch and I purchased it I think in every color except gray it came in a dark gray and I don't think I bought the dark gray but I bought every other color the green the, the saddle the red and there was one other color chestnut maybe yeah chestnut but i didn't did i get the black i don't know i don't remember but this is ella the difference between the double zip wristlet and the double zip tech top pouch which is the one that DJ King mentions on her channel often, is it has a top shoulder strap that's not, probably it's probably the same length as the one that's here on Ella, but instead of the wristlet strap, it has the top. That one has not been on Dooney.com or I Love Dooney um, in forever. I am gonna uh, plug Peter right now and say that that would make an amazing door buster this year in Florentine during the holidays. Now I know I sent, um, did a quick video to compare um, Izzy and Lizzie. See how those names, it's like the Tammy Pammy why can't I ever remember what that third one is? Pammy, Tammy. I don't know why I always want to call it Sammy, but Sammy was a different bag and um, charm. But they have, so this is Florentine Lizzie. And there is now a pebble grain version of a Lizzie 
but she is called Izzy on iTunes. She does not have the chain. She has a longer strap. She does not have the luggage tag because she is pebble grain. But for the most part, everything else, it's a pebble grain version of Lizzie. So this is Lizzie double zip wristlet. Can you tell I'm loving my reds? And then we have Ella. And the red wallet. It's been a red, it's been a, it's been, I've been on a red kick. Here we go. This is the Thatcher from Nordstrom Rack. Lizzie in Florentine. Ella in Alto. And Florentine double zip wristlet. And the black multi pitch perfect. From Kate Spade. Okay. Let's look at the organization again on Ella. Okay. Ella has a back zip pocket a single card slot and that is it from an organization standpoint but she will hold a phone uh let's see i think my phone fit in here with no problems now this is a new phone um and a different case but fits in the double zip with no problem I don't remember trying it. I don't think it worked in pitch perfect, but let's. It will fit. It needs that little gusset there on the side, but again, in a pinch, it will work. And then inside of Lizzie, and I am in a Galaxy S. 21 uh, note 21 or 22 the note and then even with the stuffing in Lizzie my phone will well, look, let me get the stuffing out it's not working on that side so even with the stuffing so phone will fit in all of these. I probably should have taken the stuffing out. Okay. All right. Lizzie. Double zip wristlet. Ella. Oh, if you are still on the fence about alto leather, let this take you off the fence. The stitching, the absolute smooth, gorgeous leather. Now, unlike Florentine, you cannot buff scratches and dings out of Alto. But it does add to the beauty. It helps with the patina. Um, and because every Alto bag comes perfectly smooth, every nick, every ding, every scratch will be the ones that you put on it as you make the bag your own. So um, don't shy away. If anything, I would love to see Ella come back in grape. I think I need one in like ivory because Alto comes in ivory. Um, yeah, I think those two would do it. Okay. Y'all can tell I got I moved back to I I kind of been on two colors so far this year. It's either been red or it's been neutral. And speaking of neutral, I picked up 
the camera zip crossbody in pebble grain leather in the color oyster. I do not have a camera bag. Um, I miss them when they were in Florentine for a whole $119. So I missed out then. I don't know. I was hemming, hawing, wasn't sure. Um, and I just, I let that get past me. But not again. Perfect year-round neutral. This is as close to... A mauvey, pinky, taupey nude as I'm going to carry. I love this. It has an outside pocket that my phone is absolutely not going to fit into. It's not. But with, uh, um, you know, the zombie apocalypse cases back on the rise, moving back into a mask which i'm always on a plane with mask on but there's a perfect place to put that um this is also a really good place to throw like a card case in a smaller bag because i'm not going to be able to get any of my full size wallets here but i can definitely do that and pretty slim profile and then it comes, of course, with the D-rings because it has a crossbody strap. And this crossbody, I want to say it has the third, yes, it does have the third section. So it can be um, used as a crossbody, adjusted as a um, shorter crossbody or shorter shoulder bag. And then you can take the third center section out and make it a short, short shoulder bag. Me and oyster. Me and taupe. We've always had a good relationship. <laughs> the hardware is pretty substantial for this small bag. And from an interior, I know there are probably tons of you that already have this bag, but I don't have one of these in my collection. I probably should have pulled out my, um, uh, um, not Sawyer, Ambler, um, from a size comparison standpoint, but I just thought about it and I don't have it. I'll put those back up. Okay. Organization in the interior, you've got on this back wall, a slip pocket, not a zip, just a slip. And then on the front wall, you have another slip. So two slips, one outside zip, and plenty of space in the interior. So, phone with no problem card case with no problem let me see if i just oh, oh. is that gonna fit oh the tag is holding it hold on hold on hold on, hold on. this tag off of i got Tags on everything. This tag, that's what's holding it. Is that gonna go? Y'all, my favorite wallet just fit in there. That is a full size, large Florentine zip around wristlet. And I still have my phone and a card case and I have space. I still don't have anything in either of the interior pockets or the outside pocket. It holds more than I thought that it was going to hold. So, and it has a key keeper. All right, let's take a look at this. So, 
So that's actually not bad without it even being adjusted. I can get my hand right under the bottom so it's hitting in my sweet spot. And then let's see if it's gonna try to give me a mammogram. All right, it's not giving me a mammogram, so it's adjusted and in a really good spot. Actually, yeah, I do like it right there. I could let it down one more, but I actually do like that it's hitting, not necessarily high on the hip, but right at my hip. Can you believe I considered this bag in black? I know, I couldn't believe it. I have enough black. But, um, I have a family member that was gifted this bag in black pebble grain leather two years ago for Christmas. And every time I see it, it looks great. But I know that I am not going to reach for it in black. So, I decided to go with the color that at some point, Dooney will, this color, this um, oyster, it will disappear again. It is, this is the longest I think oyster has been around since probably they did the launch and had like the Miller um, satchel in Pebble Grain, which I also did. Um, I have that one in oyster and what else did they have that year? Um, I think they also had the Leisure Shopper. Okay, so let's talk about the Leisure Shopper. I moved into Leisure. I traveled with her to Arizona. And I had to make myself move out of her last night. And I did. I moved out of her but she's just right there i wear that bag out i carry it at times and i don't even mention that because it's the color it's perfect it it just works it I, I don't have to worry about clearing airport security i don't have to worry about if it's going to fit under the plane um seat i don't have to worry about if all of my stuff is going to fit i just love that bag and I hope that there will be some version of leisure that reappears before the end of the year. Something that I don't already have so that I can add it to my collection. So. Oh, I scratched this up. These poor wallets have had a hard life. They just don't, they just don't know what they're getting into when they come into this house and they are in my favorite accessories. So, all right, let me see the shot. All right. Yeah, so the, um... a few new names in here tonight welcome 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 i don't have my glasses but i do notice some different ones in here i apologize they are in my purse um oh yeah okay all right so i am uh, I am not sure what my plans for next Sunday will be. Today was even questionable. Um, next week will be the one year um, of my mother's passing. And I'm already like super, super in my feelings, I'm in a bad mood, I'm emotional, I'm sad, I am all of the things all at one time. Um, I've had some good moments, but 
I think just the anticipation and you spend the time like replaying so many things that it has been hard. All of that to say, I am um, going to travel part of the week, not for business, for pleasure. And I am taking some time off because I don't know what mood I'm going to be in. And I, um, I want to be present and in the space. And I feel like this is the space that I'm supposed to be in right now. All of that to say, depending on how the end of the week goes, depends on whether or not I will be in any condition to be on camera next week. That being said, I will try to film something either later today or maybe tomorrow. Um, just in case. But again, the way I'm feeling, I don't know if I have it in me. I don't know if I have it in me. Um, so I wanted to let you know, I know there will be lots of people that will probably watch the replay that won't get all the way to the end, so they won't know what's going on, and I'm okay with that. But for those of you that are still here, I at least wanted to let you know. Um, now, I can, um, my family, not just my mom, it's actually more of her siblings, um, have a mantra of handle your business. And I know that I should probably tell you that I am going to be here because I'm going to handle the business of my channel. But let's not start lying to each other this week, okay? Because I can't make any promises. All right. I did get a sticker in one of these boxes and it made, yeah, here it is. It made me kind of curious about what may or may not be coming because usually these little ducks either correspond to a prior collection or a season. So let me just give you an example, a few examples, because I've got them right here. So we all know that was the tartan, and then this was, um, these were a couple of spring, summer, and then we got a chevron, right? And then, of course, we got the doodle, but look at the new sticker that I just got. This came in the box with the Oyster Zip camera bag. Let me get a little closer so you can take a look at that. Am I missing something? It's, I mean, it's kind of aquatic, little bit jeansy, jeans in color. Um, but it's definitely not houndstooth. I would have immediately made the connection if it were houndstooth. But let me know if you figure out what you think this one might be tied to. It has a snorkel on it, so I felt like it was something summer, but I can't pinpoint it. The other thing, if you are ordering, not just to look for your stickers, but they have switched up, um, or maybe they're alternating between the... Uh, promo for the sports and now they are running a promotion on for free shipping if you pick up the monogram pendant keychain online so you know if you are interested in the keychain because of the price you end up having to pay shipping on it well all of the letters were in stock when I checked yesterday I did not check right before they were all in stock yesterday and they are sending free shipping promo codes so that if you decide to purchase, and of course it's less than the, I think it's $119 for free shipping, you can use the promo code and get your pendant keychain without having to pay shipping. So be on the lookout for those. 
I am planning to use mine. That is the reason I have not yet purchased one is because I, I really only wanted to get one and I didn't want to have to pay shipping. But now I'm thinking I should probably get two because I'm still not going to be at the shipping thresh, free shipping threshold. So it may be a way for me to get both of them so that I don't have to pay shipping. All right. So be on the lookout for those if you have anything coming in. The other one is the sports one right here. And is this one still good? Actually, this one has expired, so we can go in the trash. It actually expired July 15th. Let me check this one. Did this one have an expiration date? September 30th. So I got to move quickly. This one has already expired. Let me see about this one. I got a few of them. Yeah, they both expired on the 15th. Probably should have posted those. Somebody might have wanted to use them. My bad. I will start doing that. I just charge it to my head, not my heart. All right. Uh, please be sure to hit the thumbs up. Share this video with another bag enthusiast. If you are shopping, please consider using uh, my affiliate links down below. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, it um, helps me out, and I may earn a small commission um, from you using my affiliate link. Um, that's it. It's been, this was like a small, um, bag accessory. Like everything was like, I feel like tiny, miniature, small. And I don't have many of those often. Y'all listen, say a prayer, <laughs> say a prayer because Poor thing, just don't know what it's about to get into. World is about to be rocked. <laughs> but that's why I bought it because I was ready for it to be in my collection. And I mean, I I appreciate, you know, Peter. He's a good husband. When I mention something, he's been, you know, working to make it happen. So I appreciate that, and that's why this is in my collection, and I'm looking at a few other colors. I hope you all have an amazing week. If you are um, so inclined, please send up a small prayer for my family and I this week. We would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction.